This festival is happening whether you like it or not, Gentle Criminal. We have come too far. We have put in too much work. We got a beauty contest to look forward are to. Are you kidding? What the heck this are you guy, winning, Kendo? Oh, dang. He just can't, good. can't stop. He can't turn it off. Kendo, you need to, like, ditch this beauty pageant and come back and keep this guy in check again. If you win, Class B will be even more plus ultra than <laughs> this the This is all a plan. To take down Class 1A. Bless your hearts. How precious you think either of you stand a chance. I don't care who wins, but I hope it's not I'm graced with this, perfect beauty. See for yourself. this girl. What is her quirk? Eyelashes? Maybe me, Ken Ranzaki. <laughs> Those eyelashes. <laughs> Intense. Let's see. Class A's performance starts at 10 a.m., and after that, we'll run and catch Class B's play. Then it's chow time in the beauty pageant. What an amazing day. I am so jealous. Permission to leave the campus? This morning? Yeah. He said there was something he had to buy before their concert. So he headed down the mountain. There was a villain he needed to run into. I hope he's not doing anything too naughty. Uh... The opening of the school festival. Or the beginning of the school festival. One of those. Neither of you are going to give up. A lot of dedicated I people on this show. Time. Let's use my quirk. I'm, I'm still confused about this because she has like some technology hacking quirk like R2-D2, but how would she use that on Deku? <laughs> Their movements. I like how Deku's pretending he can't fly. And he's fast. Keep filming. Earlier, I was able to it's use my to knock him off his trajectory. Yes, thanks to all my hard work with All Might and this new device that Hatsume specially crafted for me, I was able to mildly inconvenience Genel in the fight by shooting him in the back with air. If I aim just right, I can use it against him. That was really clever. <laughs> So much for being able to predict his moves. In the past, Gentle would have run away as soon as he was discovered. He's gone down that rap to rabbit hole. Mustache on this audacious festival scheme. It just possesses you. It's a drug. But his passion is getting him hurt. Yep. How far is too far? That's there's like this weird line, and that's one of the scariest parts about doing any any kind of endeavor. Like you know, it's going to take hard work. You know, it's going to take sacrifice, even if you don't know how much it will take before you go into it. A harder decision is like, when do you call it quits? You know what I mean? Like, how far do you go? How much are you willing to sacrifice? And you gotta be really careful of like loss aversion. You know, you've put in so much that you can't bear to face the fact of not getting what you initially planned to get just because that means just eating that blow of having failed and failed monumentally. You know, you think about all the time you put in, all the energy you spent, all the people you told about it, you know, and that phenomenon is deadly in more than just endeavors, I guess. I mean, that's like bad relationships and poor financial decisions. It's just, you got to be really careful of harming yourself in order to like save face to yourself. It's it's a weird thing. Is this Le LeBrava's? Get this. Backstory? She sent me a love letter. What? For real? Oh no. It's so creepy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Pages and pages. I've got to show you. Gross. What a psycho. <sighs> Oof. Oh, I want to cry. Maybe I should just say goodbye to this life. Ugh, it's rough. A good day to you, dear Buddy. viewers. Put your faith in me, for I will change this wretched world. Another example. Another example in the show of like people coming wrong at the right moment. You know, loyalty formed by a, a depth of despair. Although General's not a terrible guy. He's definitely not in the league of like all for one with Shigaraki, right? But man, is that a painful backstory. It's interesting how much some of the simple stuff lands. Like, it's such a simple thing, but like the villain who's in debt, I'm like, yeah, that, that sucks. That could be crushing. Because of how trapped they can make you feel about your, your life and your prospects. And then, although it's weird, one of the, the backstories I very strongly felt was Mineta's whole like, I'm this little weird kid who disgusts women you know that is a, a very primal thing and i feel like this is this is similar in that way there isn't a whole lot i'd say in like you know normal daily life that cuts as deep as disgust from people we're attracted to it's hugely threatening now, obviously there's a huge danger here you brought light back to my life this is not the healthiest of beginnings for a relationship although it seems like this worked out better than it, it realistically would in life i hope he doesn't think i'm a weirdo weirdo is general's middle name general weirdo criminal I'm a fan and I want to help you. May I please? So General talks a big game about changing the system and, you know, putting faith in him, but he's, you know, probably losing faith in himself at this moment. It's part partly why their bond works so well. You accepted me wholly. He's, he's General. What can we say? They gave each other somewhere to belong. Side by side, hand in hand. I believe it. But if you really care about General, you can see that he's... He's the one that needs someone strong Mama right now. Aiba, 
How does La Brava sound to you? La Brava. Gentle. Sometimes things switch, you know. My darling Gentle. You're becoming the caretaker. It's on theme with My Hero Academia, too, of like, everyone does their part to pick up the other, the other slack when they're in a low state. Her quirk? Love. What? By professing her love to the person she has feelings for, she can temporarily power up the object of her affection. Oh, so she's just a hacker. <laughs> I see. That wasn't her quirk. She just hacks. Well, so much for looking out for him. She's just like doubling down on this whole, this whole plot. I abhor using brute force. So I usually edit out scenes of such violence. Did she power up that really mean middle school kid? Something terrible about that thought. He really does hate this. You don't even know what views this will get. It's not worth it. I haven't lost yet! I'll suck this mild breeze. Isn't there another way? <laughs> Isn't there another way we can handle this situation? Everyone can get what they want. Do a UA vlog. I don't know. No, nobody would watch that. Nobody cares. I mean, you could fake stuff. That's big on YouTube. I don't know. Wouldn't it be more fun just to go here and like watch Deku dance and eat candy apples and stuff? Good morning, UA! Is that a Nezu balloon? Get out there and have fun! Let me Give hear speech. you make some noise! One hour till dance off. Forgive me, but... <laughs> Why is that so hilarious? Sacrifices must be made to achieve the dreams of my youth. To make certain. I found out he's like 30, 30 years old. Me. So. You must understand what it means to yearn for a goal. Yeah, I mean, they do have a lot in common. There's no other way. There are just literally an infinite number of YouTube videos you could make. Tell them about Ari. My dream is to become a pro. A hero great enough to is this be Geno? About in is this Geno? one day. What, so the accent is fake? Honestly, the only thing I can recommend is for you to voluntarily withdraw. Oof. I had that talk in school. Never forgot it. He's gonna fall! I fought it's a perfect with my chance for it. Yeah. I could make a cushion. Yeah. What happened? What, what went wrong? I just, oh no. Oh no, that's so up. Oh my god, no! That is so much darker than I thought. That is so much darker than I thought. He was seriously injured. Oh, thank god. At least he's alive. Right, he's unlicensed. Oh no, it, mom threw a remote at him. It just gets worse and worse. You must remember me from school. We were in the same uh, class. Who are you? Uh, sure. You're irrelevant. What was your name again? Ah. Uh, I'd been forgotten. Never. I have time! All right, all right. Well, that was a surprisingly hard-hitting backstory. It's funny how much I feel like I have in common with him. I went to a fairly prestigious high school and was, you know, asked to leave, I guess you would say. I ended up being relatively isolated for a little while. And to add to that feeling of, like, distance from the world and growing obscurity, I had experienced a moderate amount of fame as a kid, and I had to watch that evaporate as I grew older and time passed. But for me, I'm so grateful for all of that because it taught me a lot. It taught me that you don't want to be remembered for these transitory things, you know, moments in your life or accomplishments. It has a way of just becoming normal to you you can't ride that that high forever and later you start to disassociate with those moments it just feels like a different person and it's not to say at all that you know achievements are bad in fact i think they're great it's just that can't be the the cornerstone of your identity i think it has to be much more in the present progressive like who i am now what i'm doing now what i'm working towards now who i want to become tomorrow you know those things give you so much more utility and purpose than things i'm aware that i've done in the past and the relationships i most cherish are the ones that are active and connected to who i am now even if there is a link to the past in that way too and a lot of times we like just misplace what we actually want general is looking for like recognition and fame but there's no guarantee he wouldn't feel just as empty, if not more empty, by attention for what he's done. You know, what he what he really wants is to measure up to his own standards. That's my feeling of it. Or to not feel like a disappointment. But there's a lot of ways to get there. And I feel like this is not one of them, actually, because this will lead to disappointment. This is, like, not a good thing he's doing. I mean, I think it's pretty, pretty well established that fame and money can be great and can feel really good, but are not sufficient in themselves to make someone content with their lives. Because if they were, there, there just wouldn't be as many famous people or rich people whose lives are just in shambles. You know what I mean? There's got to be something greater than that. And so I think things like attention and fame and money, those are all great things and they can be really useful tools, but they're not where it's at. It sort of misses the point, I think. We use lever mode as a way to escape in a hurry, not like this! La Brava's, you know, got some difficult dilemmas to face. You can mock me and say that I'm weak! I care not what you think! I don't think Deku said that, did he? Tell me, why is it you want to be a hero? 
<laughs> I love how everyone asks like this. You can't go five minutes without someone asking this question. I have a goal that my body wasn't made for, but for everyone who's cheered me on, for everyone who's acknowledged me, I'll become a hero! Deku's like, I see your backstory and raise you times 100. I want to become someone who can show them a bright future! That's something that Gentle also wants. That's the way he was speaking online anyway. I need to get closer! Anything I can do I don't know, there's just also Gentle. so many other things you can do that made no. way. That's a very specific goal. I will throw away my pride, honor, everything to defeat you. That's the problem. He's like trading things of greater value for things of lesser value, like, I don't know, internet fame. Oh, you messed up now. Hound Dog is gonna motivational speech you into oblivion. Oh, he figured out how to like rapid burst. Shoot style. <laughs> oh. Louis. Why does this feel so personal now? Hey, yes. Louis. Is this the end of the general arc? You were my toughest opponent. Because you are someone I can understand. Can't you see gentle as my only light? Don't take it from me. You still please. got him. Well, I mean, not if he goes to jail, but... It's all worth it to be with you. As long as I'm by your side, I'll be happy. Do you not bear some guilt for this? But this is my fault. I'm the one who brought you here. Who accepted you and made you my partner. He's a little bit too needy. Who got you involved. He couldn't say no. Not that she's not responsible, too. For the sake of my darling's future. What are the rules about, like, having Such to... Such a passionate young boy. Arrest you should be people. proud. He did what he came to do, right? No harm has been done? Oh no, but it's over now. It is all over now. I'm turning myself in. Huh. Well, that ends that, I guess. At least as far as I can tell. I mean, I'm relieved that we actually will get the, the dance. Although, is this a setup? Are we being set up for like major disaster? So both General and the Bravo's backstory ended up being really interesting and really impactful. I understand the feeling and the desperation. I also understand how easy it is to become cynical and to justify your own your own wrongdoing in that situation. A couple of videos back, I was talking about how like when you're doing YouTube, it's easy to sort of like make blanket statements about other people's tastes and say, well, isn't everyone stupid watching this garbage? If that's the case, then I should just make garbage too. That's just the way the world is. It's way broader than that. It's like, if the world is so terrible and people are so stupid, and I tried to do good things, I tried to be a good person and live a good life, but got punished for it, then I'm justified in doing whatever I want. Why should all the things I want be given to these people who I have deemed as terrible? You know, it's understandable. It's understandable, but it's also really deadly because anyone can think that way. And anything can be justified in that in that lens. It's way more difficult to be uncompromising and to find good things unselfishly or without creating a net loss. You know what I mean? Like, general gets views and gains what exactly? Not really clear what the long-term benefits of that are for him. I would argue there's not a whole lot of benefit to his life long-term. Yet he will have made the world a worse place for a lot of people. And he also is contributing to the very thing he hates because people at UA who are doing nice things and like working hard and being productive and learning valuable skills would have ended up being punished arbitrarily, like without any fault of their own, so there's only so much you can put that into the world without, you know, it resulting in people becoming cynical. There's always a push-pull between those forces, and it's it's only so far you can push in a negative direction before everything starts to become negative and everything starts to collapse. I remember thinking about this when I lived abroad, because there was one, one place I lived where there was what I would consider not optimal subway etiquette, like when the doors open, people would rush in, and it would be very difficult to get out um, before people rushed in, and also I like literally saw a grown man knock over a small child in, in his attempt to grab a seat. And it's like, how did it get to this? But the thing is, it's so widespread that you have a choice to make. Like, you either do that and get what you want, or you don't do that and never get what you want. Like, if you don't do that, you will probably never get a seat, at least at certain times of day at certain stations. And what's the result of that for people who don't engage in that behavior? They're sitting there watching people who did engage in that behavior sit comfortably. And that eats at you. Why should people who are doing things I consider to be terrible get the things I want? Whereas I'm doing things I think are good and I'm getting none of that benefit. It's infuriating. But then you got to think, well, where did it start? You know, why why did it get to that point? And it's because initially it was just a couple people probably, but it escalated. And the more it escalated, the more people realized that that choice and that they had to do it or felt they had to do it. And so it just became ubiquitous with the, you know, the subway train experience. And so that's the answer. It's like you, you feel it. You, know, you make those actions long enough. You do these things into the world. You don't 
draw the connection necessarily, but that's there. Like everything you do is is there. Like you live in the world that you create to a large degree, or at least way, way greater than we estimate just because we, we can't trace the consequences. And so because it's invisible, we don't give it a lot of weight or enough weight. And then add to the fact that I don't think that's actually what General wants. I don't think he actually wants views. I mean, views for him represent something else. He's assigned views a, a value that is something like him being respectable or him being worthy. But it's, I mean, it's, it's so arbitrary and there are, are better things of value. There are more self-directed things of value that he could look for. Interesting character overall. We got a couple episodes left of season four. So what happens next? It would be cool if we just get like a bunch of episodes of like celebratory show for this amazing season. But I feel like something else is coming.